what what from your with your years of experience in the polity in in Europe, uh, how do you think is, you can bring such political experience uh, to Nigeria? It's very easy to do that in Nigeria. Nigeria have to introduce to all the University of Nigeria to have a department of the what we call leadership in the university. You can start from secondary school and then down to polytechnic in the university because here I have a master degree in leadership. So we should know what we stand for. Why do you want to be a governor? You should know what you are running for. No, and then the political system in Nigeria is so very, very brutal. It's not so good at all because uh, the I had uh, said that the the chairman of the party uh, they have an automatic uh, what we call convention to be the head of the, their party to contest for the president of the country. But the majority of them don't go for that. They wait for people to come and pump money to them. So they can release the ticket out, and then uh, at the end of the day, some of them don't follow the manifesto of the party. Some of them dump the system that the party have. Some of the people that have been suffering for decades here to be the chairman of the state, local government, the ESCO member. At the end of the day, the the person that just came from nowhere in Nigeria, they are not, you know, they are not even a politician, rather than rocks and chiefs. Just come in and uh, they will just push them aside, bring their own cabinet, and the cabinet that they didn't know the structure of the party. But the people they don't understand, uh, some of them don't understand, how can I put it in? In Europe here, uh, if you are a, a leader of a zone, you must, be, you must have a diploma on what you are running for, you know. But in Nigeria, it's still far beyond the, what we call the politics. They are not really part in politics in Nigeria. Uh, they are not partisan politics in Nigeria. So uh, I expect that one day the system of Nigeria will change. Because we have said before earlier, the, we are bound to make a mistake and then we are bound to rectify a mistake if the barbarian will list him. Now tell us about 2011. Uh, in 2011 elections, you, you, cont you contested. And uh, what are some of the challenges you faced from the, your entry to the... To the uh, to the political party in 2011, what are the challenges you faced before you contested? They block, they, they, they block, they, they block, they, they block it off. They block it. They block it. They use the lane more model because immediately I'm starting campaign online. I don't know what happened. Maybe PDP or they use the lane more model to go to the PDP to be one of the want to be a candidate of the black fairing of the Labour Party. A whole of Daily Momodu that have condemned their, 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 their Daily Momodu promote corruption in Nigeria with his magazine, with his, some of the, the people that have ovation, and then uh, uh, such person come to the public, they want to contest for the uh, president of the nation. President is not just about in my, uh, uh, it's not just about the, uh, what is the presidency? If I have Jonathan today, what is the meaning of presidency? Why do you? Why are you a president of the country? They, I don't think they can answer the question. Yeah. So can you can you can you, can you shed more light on the uh, when you were blocked 2011 and again what how in one year the rule in one year and uh, yes, are, are you fire she are you fire In welcome me very well, very well. I will still say it again. In one year welcome me very well. The man is very a, a real socialist man. I can say it in my own view is a labor to the core, a hard working man as well. And then uh, the share the vice chairman as well. Uh, they welcomed me, but they told me the right thing to go to my state. But at the end of the day, call him, go to the office. I want to speak to the head is there, which I didn't know what is happening on ground. Then someone gave me the number of fire share. I call fire share. Oh no, arrogant speech. I call it arrogant speech because a, a, a person to be a governor must listen to society. I must listen to a, 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 I must listen to people because true people I can gain more in, but they don't want to listen. You know, they, who, are, who is this? Because the power is, you know, power is destroyed. Power. I can. I can. I, I'm not even really to talk now because. If I talk, I, 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 I always uh, feel pain in my heart. 
for the Nigerians. What, yeah. So, what, what, what conditions did your father give to you? Yeah, yeah. My father asked me to go and bring 200 cars. I should bring 200 cars and then uh, not second one cars. 200 cars and I should put money on it. How much money? Yeah. 200 million naira. That is what my father told me. And the only mistake I made by then, instead of me to get back to Inwayan, I didn't talk to Inwayan again. I just, you know, forgive about I just left them, you know. Yeah. What impression, when that, when that happened, what impression did you have uh, concerning Nigerian politics? Yeah, I said this is not, they are not practicing politics. They are, they, are, they, are selling, they are selling the life of people. They are buying the life of people. Yeah, that is what I believe. They are, they, Nigeria has been hand of the uh, some what we call the KKK people. <laughs> you know what I mean by KKK? Yeah, they have it in America and the Western world as well. That's is Nigeria donation for the Kaba. You know what I mean? Yeah, but 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 when, when, when you were blocked in 2011, what step did you take? When you, you just went back to Europe? No, no, no. I was still looking for another party. I'm still looking for another party. I went to NTP. And then NTP welcomed me as well. Jondara welcomed me very well. I went to Jondara house in Surulere, and then uh, we met, we talked with Jondara. I said, oh, yeah, my brother, you're welcome to contest. in the free world, you know? But I should start working. But I went back to meet the chairman of the party. He's blocking it. I have a evidence. I have through one of my PA, and I have a favor for Labi that uh, follow me down to meet uh, Emmanuel Mark, the chairman of the NTP then, uh, they turn it down. We want to talk to the ESCO. Can you call for the meeting of ESCO? They turn it down. Huh. They turn it down. They say, oh, who are you? <laughs> don't, don't you think you that, know? don't you think that such behavior, such attitudes are, could be could be termed corruption? Yeah, that is part of corruption because it, what they told me that somebody will be spending money before I come, so that I cannot just come from somewhere and then... Uh, then I, I went to see John Dara. I spoke with John Dara, and John Dara welcomed me seriously. But end of the day, pop. In the course of your political career, well, since that 2011... I, I went to my state as well. On the, I went, hello? Yeah, I'm hearing. Yeah, I went, I went, to, my, I went to my state as well. In my state as well, the, <laughs> uh, I never forget about that as well. You know, but I believe that uh, uh, 2015, you know, Nigeria politics, when you jump in, you are not well prepared. The banks you out. You yeah. have to prepare very well for them. What was that? This time around, I don't, I don't think they will bounce me out. That is what I believe. Uh, let me ask you this question. What was there, since 2011, when you contested, uh, was there, when you, when you, when you under Labour Party, you went to another party, NTDP, was there, any, was there any time your life was under threat since that time till now? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was kidnapped. Uh, <laughs> I was kidnapped and uh, actually, I, I went to Ilori with the, I went to Ilori with the, I went to Ilori with the king, my king of my town, hometown, and our way coming, and we was attacked by the, uh, some, I call them Amroba or Assassin, but we escaped. I thank God of that very day, and I, I thank God for the king of my village, the Jedwe Kiti, in the state, you know, Yellow Kagomen, I'll give the honor to the, uh, the, uh, the king there. And then uh, we escape on that very day. On my way going to Lagos as well to be able to go and okay my ticket to come to Europe, I was, attacked, I was kidnapped as well. How are you kidnapped? I, I find myself. How are you kidnapped? I don't even know what happened. I just entered, you know, I, I, I was in the bus, you know what I mean? I, was, I don't want people to, you know... The other car was poor and they smart to the car and they destroyed the car and they, you know what I mean. So on my way, uh, on my way going to Lagos, I have to take a public uh, transport to disguise. Maybe I don't know where he's following me up and yeah. Now you know. So between the uh, between uh, I think between our uh, road, I don't, I don't know where I find myself in Nishagamu. That's uh, between along the redeeming Christian and the Mountain of Fire Road. <laughs> I don't know. I find myself in the, in the street in any morning. In the street? I, I took. I, I met. I took a bus. I took a bus. Uh, I took a bus around uh, say, uh, three thirty in the afternoon, going to Lagos. Eh? Yeah. 
from uh, Akube. And then uh, people are entering the bus. I enter the bus as issuer, you know. Yeah. Then uh, along the way, instead of me arriving in Lagos in, in the night to go and log in hotel I reserve, and then I, 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 I have to, I, two, two days before I can get to Lagos. So, where you take inside the, where you take it, where they, where, did they take you, take you to the bush? Yeah, they took me to bush, they, they took me to a bush and uh, took uh, everything for, I don't even know what happened in the bush, because the second day I came, all my class is dirty, you know. <laughs> some of the people were like, I find, uh, along the way, I find they, they caught some woman brace, you know, woman brace and the, uh, well, I don't want to talk much about uh, did that. They, did, they, did, they, did they pay, did they, did they ask you for any, any ransom, did you pay any, any ransom? Uh, no, I, I didn't pay any ransom because uh, I will tell you the truth. I didn't pay any ransom. Uh, actually, I don't know what happened. I will tell you the truth. Maybe they put chemical in the bus. Where I find myself, I can't believe it. Did you slip off but in the bus? Maybe, 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 maybe voodoo was it, was placed I, in the bus and you slept I, off. Yeah, I slept off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that means there was voodoo also placed in the hair over there in the bus. That, yes. that, that, that made you exactly. I mean, you slip off. Exactly. Mm. Exactly, but 2015, for sure, they were, but the only party that I still respect in Nigeria, I call, call a court party. I went to the secretariat in Abuja, maybe I can be their candidate, you know, to just to come out and let's see what one generation want to, what I have, you know, and I, I give them, I thank them today, again, that uh, they want to try for me to, I should have a ticket, you know, in a court, but uh, the INEC have closed the registration, you know, and yeah. I, I have to left, yeah. And no. when I came back, I continued my education about my foreign policy and the criminology and the leadership as well, yeah. Now, uh, I'll ask you three more questions there, Rando. The first question is right now. How, how, do, you, how, do, you view, how do you view corruption in Nigeria? Corruption to tackle Nigeria is between the way. Let me tell you something. Uh, corruption can be, be tackled because I believe the civil, the higher civil corruption. You said what? And we have in Nigeria a civil servant. You know, they are not well paid. The civil servant of Nigeria are not well paid. They are collecting 18,000 naira, and some of these people do not have contract. They can fire at any time. There's no what we call tax refund in Nigeria. I have a four kids. Let me tell you something, example now. And then uh, I, I rent house. My house rent per year cost me maybe 200000 and I'm paid 18000 naira in a month as minimum wage. At the end of the day, what is going to happen? For sure, I will look for way other, other way around to be able to collect money. Please find me something there. They even police in Nigeria. They don't have no life insurance. What? They are now well paid. What, second question, what, I don't know, second to the last question, what's your fear for Nigeria in 2015? What? What fear do you have for Nigeria in 2015, present election? Uh, I, Nigeria, I pray that Nigeria should not go, before 2015, I pray that Nigeria should not go to what we call brutal religion war. I pray for that. If you can be able to escape that religion war, Nigeria will sustain. But if not so, by the grace of God, the Rome Empire will be, we will break Rome Empire. Yeah, because I. Welcome to Nigeria Standard Africa Radio. We entertain, we inform, we educate Africans and Africans in diaspora. Black Americans are members of the international community. We bring you news just as it is, without fear or favor. Welcome. You just heard from Femi uh, Babalola live from Spain. They talking talk to us live on issues happening in Nigerian politics on corruption and insecurity. This is what we're going to draw today's cotton on to this uh, edition of uh, tra live transmission from the United States. Send us mails at Niger222 at gmail.com or Niger222 at gmail.com. Uh, enjoy for that music. We'll say goodbye. Bye bye.
to get out and then uh, at the end of the day some of them don't follow the manifesto of the party some of them dump the system that the party have some of the people that have been suffering for decades year to be the chairman of the state local government the esco member at the end of the day the the facility can start from secondary school and then down to polytechnic and the university because here yeah, i have a master degree in leadership so we should know what we stand for why do you want to be a governor you should know what you are running for you know and then the political system in nigeria is so very, very brutal it's not so uh what what from your with your years of experience in the polity in in europe uh, how do you think is, you can bring such political experience uh, to Nigeria? It is very easy to do that in Nigeria. Nigeria have to introduce to all the University of Nigeria yeah, to have a department of the what we call leadership. And you know, the person they just came from nowhere in Nigeria, they are not even, they are not even a politician, rather than rocks and chiefs. Just come in and they, they will just push them aside, bring their own cabinet, and the cabinet that they didn't know the structure of the party. But the people they don't understand, uh, some of them don't understand, how can I put it in? In Europe here, uh, it's real good at all because uh, the, I had uh, said that the, the chairman of the party, uh, they have an automatic, uh, what we call convention, to be the head of the, their party to contest for the president of the country. But the majority of them don't go for that. They wait for people to come and pump money to them. So they 